You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Uh, today, we're pleased to talk with James Andra, the CEO of Shuffler LLC, and we're going to talk a lot about today the feature of presentations. So a little bit about James. Uh, he's responsible for the vision, strategy, and technical development for Shuffler, and he brings over 30 years of entrepreneurial expertise and 20 years' experience in both sales and developmental side of presentation management uh, software. No, literally. Presentations have changed since they became digital in the mid-90s when people finally trusted uh, a laptop to run video in front of their clients and actually make it work. Um, they've evolved through the years, but generally they're the same. It's the consistent message and brand that people want to get out there and they want to communicate and they want to convince when you're doing a presentation. Presentations aren't about just uh, giving a, a message. Your, your goal is to convince, to sell something, to go through it. Um, but through time, when you got to devices, Every file is opened in presentation format. Think about it. It's full screen. If it's full screen, that's a slide. Whether it's running a video, a Word document, a PDF, or a PowerPoint slide, that is it. So every device is a presentation machine, and it's serving up those files that go into it. So um, presentations are coming together. I think they're unrecognized as a valuable communication tool, and uh, that's what Shuffler pretty much does. No longer do you need to go to a folder network and see a list of 55 files that say, you know, marketing, sales, this and that. But you should actually see the file without ever opening it. You could scroll right through it and go to right you need. Once you visualize the files, I mean, Amazon does this well. They visualize every item in the world so that you can pick it off the computer. If you put your files or slides in a visualized format, then all of that contact becomes a foundation for uh, making presentations. Shuffler treats files as a slide. And a PowerPoint is just a group of slides where you can just drag them in and create new presentations. Um, let me take it to a bigger format. Once you have this basic uh, communication that, that way, there's two things going on right now, and it's unstructured data and using that to create instant slides. If we're talking right here and you start discussing, you know, uh, how cars are being used in, in you know, South America, there is data on that. There are searches on that. And if you can find it, you can as a human, cull it into a slide and, and take a few hours and make it right. Why couldn't that information be instantly available and be like fed up to me right now that I can let it reinforce our conversation, not force the conversation. Presentations through the years have always forced the conversation. You're letting slides be created as we're speaking so that I can reinforce it. I can stand on stage with my iPad and, and have a discussion with you and someone bring up some unique, you know, uh, you know, thesis or something that's out there. The research for that thesis could be gotten for me and served up into a slide and I can bring it up on a stage with 20 people in the audience and start discussing it in detail. Not knowing that question was coming in, but knowing that data is out there. Think of all that. And then think about visual storytelling. Visual storytelling is what social networks are all about nowadays. They are about, let me take a picture and hear my legs in the beach and show how good I am. Is Oh, is that really the Taj Mahal over my shoulder? Gee whiz, I'm a world traveler. I mean, people are trying to do it left and right. Big corporations are placing their soap and things and all sorts of visual storytelling but each one of those are just a slide everything they're doing is just a slide and presentations if i took this unstructured data and making instant slides and visual storytelling which is kind of mnemonics where if i could take words and create an image for it and while it's not going to be great right now but over time images help create memories people remember images more than they do text but if our conversation could do that then my slides are being formatted instantly on the fly and our discussion is much more in depth it's much more encyclopedic if you will 